Here we have a more complicated looking absolute value inequality that we need to solve for x. But if we take this step by step, I think this will prove to be fairly simple. First of all, we want to get the absolute value portion alone on one side. I think I'm going to start by getting rid of this negative 1. So we'll add 1 to both sides. Now we've got 2 times the absolute value of x plus 6 is less than 6. And then we'll divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. We've got absolute value of x plus 6 is less than 3. And at this stage, we're going to split this into two equations, or sorry, two inequalities. So we have x plus 6 is less than 3. And then for the second one, we have x plus 6 is, we're going to flip the sign and make the other side negative. So we have greater than negative 3. Now we solve both of these. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. And I get x is less than negative 3. And here, x, sorry, subtract 6 from both sides. x is greater than negative 9. So typically, we write this compound inequality, which we get when we have uh, an absolute value inequality, with the x in the middle, and with inequality signs that look like this. So here, x is greater than negative 9, and x is less than the negative 3. This shows that x is between negative 9 and negative 3.